Inferno video? Clean. Uh, hopping in. Your seatbelt extensions actually work. <laughs> Dude, mine, mine do not work whatsoever. All right, guys, some of my buddies, 440i right now, he has it like specked out. So what packages do you have on your car? Because I noticed like you have the, for sure you have the M Sport package because I can see you have like the M Sport wheel and all that good stuff. But what else do you have on it? So uh, this car came fully loaded. I'm a second owner on it. Um, Lighted before me, traded in for a 328i uh, 2020. Ooh. Honestly, yeah, it was the worst. Yeah, she, 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 she messed up. It, yeah, yeah 440i she, but, to 328. Hey, her loss my way. And it comes with everything you can put in the list: heads-up display, and performance package, a staggered wheel, upgraded i drive system. Uh, yeah, I noticed uh, that you have like the upgraded one. It has yeah. like what the bigger display? Yeah. yeah, the other ones they cut up like around here. Oh uh, yeah, and it's like really ugly. But she upgraded that. She has the eight-speed uh, automatic. And, and performance steel oil, uh, carbon fiber side to side um, mirror caps, uh, lip. It was like a 1500 lip on the front. I had that BMW. That, but hey, it's it's amazing. It's the best. Heck yeah, dude! Um, I freaking love that it thing. It has adaptive suspension. She has, she had this uh, bucket seats. It's an add-on as well. I did notice that the freaking uh, side the, bolsters. Yeah, they kind of hug you. Yeah, I love it. It has the Harman Kardon. Harden. System. Oh yeah, the Harman Kardon. That I is think. really, really. Yeah, dude, the freaking sound system in these things, like, they're amazing. Yeah, dude, it's like clear. Yeah, it's a clear, but it has good bass. It's like I want to change all the like all the trim to black uh, carbon fiber. Yeah, dude, that and looks sick. Just... What do you plan on doing on this car, like performance-wise? Now that you're already like full bolt-ons at the moment, like, is there anything else you can do to get more power? Yeah, right now I have a stage two full bolt-on downpipe, colder intake, custom exhaust. Uh, I'm putting around 420 to the wheels, 450, 470 I think to the crank. I didn't want to do a full throttle because I was going to do Oh, crank. for sure. It's insane. Like the exhaust pops and crackles are like, it's actually it's, crazy. Yeah, it's, like It's louder it's unbelievable, than, unbelievable. It's, just, it's louder than yeah. like. Anything you could think yeah. of. And just a startup alone, I have a GTS start on it. Uh, that would revs it up to 2000. Is what, the B58 engine, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, the same as the Supra, the, the new Supras they come with. Uh, they have the same engine. Oh, dad, I did not know that. Yeah. These have the same engine as the new Supras. Okay. The 2020 Supras, they have yeah. the same engine as this. I did not know that, dude. I'm just talking like, just like little baby sticks for now. Gotcha. Um, so, my next upgrades I want to do is uh, high pressure fuel pump. That oh, yeah, that'll make they, a big difference. Yeah. Um, apparently, the tune I got, they add 40% or 46, something like that. Um, with the stage two, they add 26. So, oh, if 26, 26 is a lot. Like more fuel? Yeah. After the high pressure fuel pump, I'm going to put a pet turbo on it, stage four turbo, and that will put me around 650. If she's six, how, how much is a stage four turbo kit? Like, like two, three, three thousand, yeah. three thousand, thirty five hundred. And after I get the turbo and the high pressure fuel pump, I'm gonna do a dyno tune on it. Heck yeah, so man. I can get the max out of it. And it's hard, like, finding fitments for the car, having like specs for it. Like, I'm literally I'm going into the dark right here, like, I have no guide basically. Yeah, so yeah. it's like I have to trial and error all the way there. True. This car like hugs really well on turns. Like, what do you think overall? Like, from you having it, handling wise, what would you say about it? Because I mean, I know BMWs are like, you know, all infamous for like great handling. But how is this like body on the four series and having the B58 engine? How do you like, like the handling so far on it? Well, the first thing, one of the first things I noticed of the car that it comes with camber, front factory. Yeah. Yep. So yep. that increases the. Um, Handling a lot better, oh, for but sure. on this I'll be taking uh, right up on my house. There's like a little like half U kind of turn. Yeah, like and a I'll, sharp U. Yeah, and I I'll, I'll be taking those 50, 46 miles, and it's just like yeah, like you feel it, it. it. Yeah, but it's just like it doesn't even close to like the you know like oh for sure the, yeah the line where you can't go more you know having like bolstered seats and yeah. the bucket seats and stuff. It definitely helps with like handling because you're not getting thrown all around your car. I previously didn't have bucket seats in mine and then I installed them, uh, the BMW sport seats. 
huge freaking difference, dude. My head is like almost in the yeah, roof. like I can't, I can barely pass my hand through it. But besides that, it's pretty comfortable to be in like a small car, a coupe. Yeah, I feel pretty well. Like you know, it's not like horribly uncomfortable. Oh, sure. You know, it's pretty comfortable, honestly, and it's pretty spacious. Like, how do you like like the drivetrain on this? Like the power band, is it smooth? Oh yeah. Like, cause I know that uh. Like the 435, I've driven plenty of 435s, and those are already like, you know, pretty buttery smooth. They have like a really good amount of power. How how would you how would you rate or how what would you say about the drivetrain in this car? From stock after 2000, you're you're on the seat like back on the seat, just planted because it just takes off. It takes like a second to get to 2000, but after it gets there, it's just like vroom, vroom, vroom. you're going through gears and just taking out the heads up display it does I, I can't even read like the the miles per hour because it just chunks it just <laughs> goes chunk 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 and I took the speed limiter off so my fastest oh, on man. this one yeah, what's your fastest time on it it's 163 yeah but after 163 um, I slow down what made you go for the 440 instead of like an M4 or instead of a 435. Found a 435, right, which has the M55 engine, and then I started I started seeing the 440, and so I was like, what's the difference between both of them? They're the same chassis, basically, basically the same thing. The engine, basically. Yeah, yeah, it just comes down to the engine, and I found out that this the 440s have the B58 engine, and those they compared to the M54, and it turns out that the B58 might have more potential when it comes to performance than a 435 would yeah mm -hmm. True. and if you put the same like the same model like the same um mods that i have on this and a 435 i will i will win top speed just because the engine is better it's yeah just, like there's nothing to it it's just the I'm engine sure. makes more <laughs> Posted up right here, freaking sick. 2017 BMW 440i. I freaking love this. He has the uh, BMW carbon fiber splitter and the lip down at the bottom. This is like actually like from the dealership. The person who owned it before him put that on there. That stuff is pricey, guys. Like that stuff is pricey. Got the freaking carbon fiber mirror caps also, and this color just looks absolutely beautiful. Oh my word! What's the exact color for this again? It's called Astrolic Blue. Astrolic Blue. God, it looks so freaking good, man. And even has like a metallic flake to yeah. it. Once I, when I wash, all the metallic comes out so nice. Yeah, dude, it's like but how I, the sun hits it, it'll like change colors. Well, waxing it is so hard because I do it by hand with a, like a little sponge. The, the bi xenons, of course. I'm thinking of the black grill. The, the headlights. What are you gonna upgrade them to? So I want to do like the 2018 and above that have like a little half hexagon. Gotcha. Check out like the go straight and then up. Oh and yeah, then, yeah, the heck, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then with the little X on the. Oh, purple. dude, that looks sick. Yeah, with the like the little X is gonna be blue. Which is so good with like the black grills, bro. And um, I'm thinking of doing the double, the like, double slot ones, mm -hmm. like the M5 looking ones. Yes. I wanna put the little like the M. Oh, yeah, the the, the M mirror caps that yeah. have like the little extension Spikes. piece. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna change the the antenna spike. The, the rear lip. Yeah. yeah, I get something like a. I, like, damn, these are some big tips. How, well, how big are these? Three. Three inch tips? Three all the way down. Dang, all these, the look, way back. these look good, dude. I freaking love the rear end of this car. He has 275s on the rear right now. The rear end looks so freaking good. It has a fat rear end, dude. It looks great. Upgraded brake kit. So he has like the bigger brakes and the bigger rotors as well. Overall, just so sick, dude. It looks very pure, like a very pure build right now. Those backfires are insane, dude, on this car. Oh my god. This engine setup is just phenomenal because of that. Just 1500, I didn't even touch, I just. My gosh. 
overall guys it's such a sweet car like i freaking love this 440 i've been so heavily debating buying a 435 and this just like completely changes my mind the only car you've lost to if that I will. and then uh supra with the same upgrades i have but i was winning at low end and at top end he just was pulling off slowly Hold on it. yeah because uh he has better aerodynamics is lighter i have 560 torque right now jeez so, 560 foot pounds of torque yeah. Oh, those gunshots sound so good. Keeps on pulling through your power band, like it doesn't all just hit first, second gear. Like it's keep it like continues to pull throughout all your gears, bro. Right. From first gear to second gear, like it pulls you back. From third gear, it pulls you back, and then all the way down. It's just, I mean. short of a time and i wasn't going full throttle at the beginning because if i go full throttle it's just gonna kick everywhere. yeah dude that was traction control off it still hugs bro mm -hmm. like it, the rear end was giving out a little bit but it's like so manageable i have cruise control i have lane departure i can't change lanes if i put my signal and if i change lane there's someone there and the steering wheel will get really hard and i can i could i could still change lanes but it's like it pulls the oh other that's way. cool where is the launch control menu on this? Is it in the uh, system? So launch control, you gotta put in Sport Plus, on Sport, um, transmission, a brake to the floor, literally all the way to the floor. Most BMWs, they have like a little button. Like it just feels like yeah, a button. Yeah, it's the, the kick down pedal or whatever it's yeah. called. Yeah. Floor the brake, floor the gas, let out the brake, and it says launch control. And it just takes out, it grips so good. It just, oh, that's cool. Yeah, if you hit it a little too long, you're just gonna spin all the way. But if you hit it just right, you're gonna hook up and just take off. So we just pulled back in. We just got back from our drive. And I gotta say guys, his car is freaking beautiful. You can see it posted up right there. All right, so we went ahead and popped his hood. So we're gonna go ahead and show y'all a quick look of his engine bay. It really doesn't look too hard to work on. I mean, honestly, you have like all your coolant stuff over here. He's replacing the charge pipe soon. He actually has it on the way already. Painted this gloss black. Yeah, I noticed you can that. Kind of see the difference. Yeah, it's like a satin gloss. This, this, and that, because they were like this matte black. Yeah, and now the first thing, change that because it looks so much better. Like, oh it yeah, so dude. much clean. Looks newer, cleaner, mm -hmm. way better. And then I put the short arm, cooler intake. Has the the little water waterproof sleeve for it. Mm -hmm. Such a good investment. Twenty bucks can save your engine right there. Yeah. So the next thing I want to do is change this bar, frame thingy to match this color. So it'd be all around the same sick. thing. All yeah. blue right there. Yeah. The little details make the biggest difference. Like the little blue on blue thing you got going here. More stuff on the way with that. That was going to wrap up my video on my buddy's 2017 BMW 440i M Sport. Freaking sweet car. Ticks all the boxes. Great handling. B58 engine is amazing. Has all the little bells and whistles. Overall, just a solid car. If y'all like these feature videos, go ahead and drop a thumbs up. If y'all are in the DFW area or you have any cars you want me to go ahead and review, drop a comment down below. I'm sure to check every single day for new comments. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button for more content to come. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next video. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,